Oh, dead spot. <sighs> if only you could switch in an instant. <laughs> oh, wait. What? Isim is that easy? For fur. For real kasi. Backed up by nationwide coverage. So, yeah, nobody knows what Gen Z's want, but we can keep up with real connection and real fast data. Live for real with Smart 5G plus nationwide LTE, Power Off, Magic Data, and eSIM. You guys pretty much know what we need. Live more today. When is our app not just an app? When it gives you more with every tap. It puts power in your hands and makes you feel special along the way. It's your account manager. Bills viewer and payment partner. Balance checker. Promo loader. Coins collector. And rewards giver of the stuff you love. When is our app not just an app? When it's the smart app. Download it now. Kampo si Babes, di ko daw sa sinu stories. Sa TNT Surf Saya 30, mapapost mo siya sa FB, IG, at kahit TikTok pa. Sa Saya na yan! Get 8 gigabytes of all access power. To do it all. Plus only TikTok to scroll and share non-stop. Power, work, life and more. With Smart Power All. All access data now up to 90 days. Load now. Enjoy only 5G data. Only calls and texts. And only Netflix mobile on us. All with Smart Postpaid's powerful SIM only plans starting at 999. Get it on eSIM online. Only with Smart Postpaid. Go beyond with Smart, the country's fastest and best mobile network. With unlimited 5G data for 12 months. Unlimited text and calls for both mobile and landline. And unlimited Netflix mobile on us. All with Smart Postpaid's powerful SIM-only plan starting at 999. Get it on eSIM online, anytime, anywhere. Switch now and keep your number. Get the power to go beyond, only with Smart Postpaid. Generation Z. Authentic. Real. They thrive in the mundane. But, let's be real, nobody knows what they want. Only they truly understand. For real? Yeah, but that's okay. We get what you need. Uh, guys, where are we going now? Anywhere! Mountain, beach, middle of nowhere! Why? Because we can! Well, let me help out. Smart 5G. Best in 5G coverage experience and best in 5G availability. That's fine. When you got power off, you could do it all. Multiple apps? <laughs> no problem. Whoa! From Wi-Fi to data in an instant. Yes, sir. Magic Data saves you any time you need it. And it doesn't expire? That's right. Cool. Oh, dead spot. <sighs> If only you could switch in an instant. Go oh, away. What? Isim is that easy? For fur. For real kasi. Backed up by nationwide coverage. So, yeah, nobody knows what Gen Z's want, but we can keep up with real connection and real fast data. Live for real with Smart 5G plus nationwide LTE, Power Off, Magic Data, and eSIM. You guys pretty much know what we need. Live more today. When is our app not just an app? When it gives you more with every tap. It puts power in your hands and makes you feel special along the way. It's your account manager. Bills viewer and payment partner. Balance checker. 
promo loader, points collector, and rewards giver of the stuff you love. When is our app not just an app? When it's the smart app. Download it now. Kampo si Babes, di ko daw sa sinyo stories. Sa TNT, surf sa 30, mapapost mo siya sa FB, IG, at kahit TikTok pa. Get 8 gigabytes of all access power. To do it all. Plus on the TikTok to scroll and share non-stop. Power, work, life and more. With Smart Power All. All access data now up to 90 days. Load now. Enjoy only 5G data. Only calls and texts. And only Netflix mobile on us. All with Smart Postpaid's powerful SIM only plan starting at 999. Get it on eSIM online. Only with Smart Postpaid. Go beyond with Smart, the country's fastest and best mobile network. With unlimited 5G data for 12 months. Unlimited text and calls for both mobile and landline. And unlimited Netflix mobile on us. All with Smart Postpaid's powerful SIM-only plan starting at 999. Get it on eSIM online, anytime, anywhere. Switch now and keep your number. Get the power to go beyond only with Smart Postpaid. Generation Z. Authentic. Real. They thrive in the mundane. But let's be real. Nobody knows what they want. Only they truly understand. For real? Yeah, but that's okay. We get what you need. Uh, guys, where are we going now? Anywhere! Mountain, beach, middle of nowhere. Round one more to go. It's a rematch of the UAAP Season 86 Men's Basketball Tournament Finals at yan ang masasaksiyan natin yan sa pagpapatuloy ng Phil On Echo On 70 PCJ Pre-Season Cup and you're watching all the action here on Smart Sports J. De La Cruz together with Randolph Youngson with Daphne Cristobal Diretso muna tayo sa tournament format kasi dito naman UAAP bracket naman to 8 teams lang sila Single round, so seven games per team. Again, a simulation of what's to come later th uh, later this year where the UAAP teams will face their fellow UAAP teams. Kumbaga, magkaka, magkakaamungin na sila eh, mm. to size each other up before the real tournament begins come uh, September. September, That's correct. Yeah. That's correct. Oh. So, again, it's a chance for these players, these teams to, si to size up their opponents and before magkaroon ng crossover playoffs natin. Yan nga yung ating field dito sa ating 17th edition. You can see on your screens. Solved na tayo sa NCAA bracket. Sa UAE bracket nakita natin kanina yung Adamson saka UE naglaro na. It's UE prevailing over Adamson. Ngayon makikita naman natin ang defending champions at ang runner. Ah, pero nabagit mo kanina. Defending Phil Oil champions. Phil Oil Echo Oil Champions. Yes. Sila, yung 16th edition ng ating ECJ Pre-Season Cup. Pero, una natin pag-uusapan yung lineup ng Lasal. Na, kung makikita mo, across the board, wala namang nagbago. It's same guys all over again. Ang naiwan lang, di ba? Ang nawala lang, yung guardian nilang si Evan Eli. Yeah, Evan and uh, Waki Manuel. Sabi si Waki Manuel. Yeah, but... This is virtually the same team from the champion team last year. Kevin Kiambao is still there, but the difference now is meron na silang Henry Agunane. Mm -mm. Bilang nilang FSA, and then they added, they added key players 
Like itong si Doyce Dumo, uh, Matthew Rubico, Jake Gaspay, uh, some of their rookies. Dito naman sa UP, it's going to be still JT Kagulang at si Maymay. Siya pa rin magbabando, magtitimon para sa opensa ng UP. Pero bago ang lahat, punta muna tayo sa floor para sa ilang presentasyon. Good afternoon, Phil Oil fans. Live from the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in San Juan City. This is the main event, Game 5 of 5. Opening day of the 17 Phil Oil Egg Oil ECJ Preseason Cup. This is the battle between the four, the finals of last season and also the UAAP finals. The game between the De La Salle University Green Archers versus the University of the Philippines Fighting Maroons. And now let's have the starters first for De La Salle Green Archers. Small forward number 16, CJ Austria. Power forward number 25, Michael Phillips. Center number 21, Henry Agunane. Point guard number 5, Josh David. And shooting guard number 2, Boris Marasigan. Head coach for De La Salle is Tobix Robinson. And now the starters for the UP Fighting Maroons. Small forward number 18, Harold Alacon. Power forward number 17, Francis Lopez. At center number 55, Ganny Stevens. At shooting guard number 19, Jerry Abajano. And at point guard number 12, J.D. Kagulangan. Head coach for the UB Fighting Moves is Five Robin on the floor Montemir. brought to you by ABC Tile Adhesive. Ayan, ang starting five. May may kagulangan. Nag, sabi nga natin, nagtitimon pa rin. Yan yung mga kasama niya. Usual eh, wala nagbago eh. Yung malaki lang, mm -hmm. si Gani Stevens Gani, andyan. Gani Stevens played a few games for UST. Played a UAAP season with UE and now with UP. Ito po lang si Mr. Mandy Ochoa. Before we start this game between UP and De La Salle, I'd like to please allow me to share with you a short tribute to a very special man, a very special friend, none other than uh, Ambassador Eduardo Danding Coanco, or ECJ, whom the organizers have named this year's preseason pre -season cup after. Ambassador Eduardo Danding Coanco Jr., ECJ, will be synonymously, synonymously attached to the development of Philippine basketball. For almost half a century worth of engagement across all levels of competition in the sport, his contributions are well entrenched in the history books from the national team, the varsity level, and the pros. The revered boss Danding supported them all selflessly. The Tournament Executive Committee decided to name the 17th Phil Oil Eat Echo Oil Preseason Cup in his honor to pay tribute to his legacy of commitment, passion, and the love for the game. Fittingly, the ECJ Cup will be given to the 17th Phil Oil Echo Oil Preseason Cup champion, which reflects the same values as well. This is where it all begins. The organizers of the 17th Phil Oil Echo Oil ECJ Preseason Cup extends its warmest greeting to Miss Claudia Coanco, granddaughter of Ambassador Danding Coanco. She will grace us with her presence and conduct the ceremonial toss to formalize the opening of the tournament honoring the legacy of his grandfather none other than the late Ambassador Eduardo Coanco Jr. 
Claudia, please join us. Ref, please do the honors. Miss Claudia will assist us with the ceremonial toss facing that way. Thank you very much, Claudia. Again, you just saw earlier the message from Benny Riley to Mr. Mandy Ochoa. Nakita nyo rin. That is Miss Claudia Goanco. Ang uh, apo ni Ambassador Dating Goanco. And kung sinusundan nyo rin yung Lasal Lady Spikers at medyo pamilyar, eh siya rin yung team manager ng De La Salle University Lady Spikers. Again, you just saw earlier the starting lineup courtesy of Smart Sports. UP ang una makakawa ng possession, pero mananatili sa UP ang bola. Napakailangan ng nasal yung unang possession. Jay, we're talking earlier of this is a battle between the UAAP champion and the defending Philippine champion. Mm -hmm. Remember, the last team to beat itong Lasal team, yung UP, UP. nung game 1 ng finals. Correct. And may may kagulaman Doing the honors of opening the scoring for UP, Mike Phillips doing the same for Lasal. Showing uh, that improved offensive game. We know how good of a defensive force itong si uh, Mike Phillips was. He understands that he also has to be an option, an offensive option for sa Lasal. Talk about the evolution of the game, eh, diba? Of, in, of each individual's game. As Jerry Abadiano scored a floater for 2 UP, Joshua David nakiraan, nakalayup. Sinabihan si Jerry Abadiano, excuse me, pare. Padaan lang. <laughs> but, but, but they've been battling since uh, the <laughs> high school <laughs> level. Yeah. With uh, itong si uh, David with LSGH and Abadiano with NSNU. Uh Oo. -oh. Forever naman na laging magandang labanan pag yan yung magka But you have to understand, Joshua David is being converted into a point guard if sa Green Archers with Evan Elia graduating as you said. And yung mga point guard kasi hinihintayin ng Lasal for next Wala year pa. pa. Oo. Boris Marasigan attack mode, sansan. Ang bantay niya, matatawagan ng offensive foul si Boris Marasigan. Also interesting, Boris Marasigan getting the starting gun as there's that offensive foul. Saktong-sakto sa timing ng pagkakabaksak ni Maymay. But again, we bench. Ito yung papagitin natin eh. Instead of JC Pakalalag, si Boris Marasigan ang nabibigyan ng nabababan dito nila Coach Topex. Hey, hey, you know, it's a chance also for Coach Topex. He's really tagging, I think, in the other league, in the D-League. Hindi, hindi talaga sila na full force. I think Coach Topex doesn't even go there but yun nga eh, the fill oil is a simulation to the season so umbaga ito na yung pagkakataon nila na talagang balasahin yung kanilang lineup makita kung sino yung nag alam ko may mga nagpakita sa ibang liga pero ito try natin gawin kung ano yung mga gusto natin mangyari pagdating na UAAP so let's just remind everyone na ang uh, lineup dito sa fill oil sige meron tayo nag nagre-wrestling dun sa ilalim Patatawagan offensive foul si Mike Phillips. He just picked Francis Lopez. You know, dalawang minuto to. <laughs> you know they've been waiting for that skirmish for the past five months, especially para dito kay Lopez. After the UAAP season, kung ikaw ang UP, gusto mong makabawi. Gusto mong makabawi. Kahit pre-season yan, the first time that you see each other again, kailangan manalo kami sa inyo. For Lasal naman, it's about extending their domination and showing why they are the reigning UAP champions. It's about sending a message uh, yes. for both these teams. It's just a matter of what kind of message will Lasal or UP send. Once this game is done, in the meantime, it's Agunanan versus Caddy Stevens. Titanic action at the post. Agunanan will be called for steps. I'm curious on how Henry Agunane will will perform at this level. 
It was a transfer from CEU, right, yep, yep. Jay? That's correct. But yeah, playing for CEU and playing for La Salle, there's a world of difference. And you are, I, I know there's some kind of familiarity with Coach Jeff Perles. For a time, Coach Chico Manabat was handling the program when he was uh -huh. a player. There are similarities with Coach Topics also having the same mindset, but the pressure of wearing that green and white, may ibang way. Ibang na kasi. May ibang way. Paglasal na. Uh, then I represent Tamo. In the meantime, the mid-range did not work. At hindi sinasadyang nag-chacha si Joshua David. <laughs> Kaya ka na naman sa chacha mo. Here's the thing about... Ito, ito yung nangyari kasi. Airball na eh. Mm -hmm. Yan yung pagkakataon na... Yeah. May gusto ka nang gawin. Diba? Or you're, you're thinking ahead eh. Diba? Pero hindi mo pa nagagawa. Oh! Kaya lang ako gawin ang complay! JP Kakulam at scoring. Four point advantage for UP. Like a true veteran. Outsmarting. Itong Lasal defense. What a play by J.D. Kaulan. A heady player, should I say. Pass to low for Francis Lopez. Agunanes sending it to Francis Lopez. And he'll play! It's bothered by Joshua David. But there was a foul and Joshua David avoided a good that moment. Ito muna yung ating posting El General Palaban lay of the game. May may kagulangan. Nautakan na isaan ang lahat. Hindi ko rin masisi si Michael Phillips eh. Their skirmish between him and Francis, Francis Lopez. Lopez has been very heated. You don't want to take your eyes off of Francis Lopez. Unfortunately, may may kagulangan was able to capitalize on that one. But as I was saying, Jay, mm. for Lopez, he's been the focal point of UP's attack in the finals. Ramdam mo yung gigil din sa bata na to na of all the players in Maroon, siya yung may pinakagusto manalo. Punta sa Lasal today. High low play did not materialize. Jerry Abadjano, tapos na kay Jumper is good. Signature Jerry shot by Jerry Abadjano that pull up Jay has always been in his back since 2017. Nice cut by Boris Marasigan, and he will go to the free throw line. With 6 and 20 remaining in the first quarter. Finally, Lasal can get some points in the easiest manner possible by, those, by these free throws. UPS, in a way, punched them to start itong ating laban, but in a way, Lasal has to also show that. They are the champions, diba? Mm -hmm. UP is trying to bring them, bring the fight to them. So, oh. kailangan mong sabayan eh. Kumbaga, kung meron na una mag-declare kung sino ang siga, si UP yun. Si, sila yung una nagsabi na kami ang siga dito. Hindi, akin to, diba? Kailangan oh, mong sabayan to. eh. Oh. Kaso lang, UP yung atin to. Oo na, oo. But yeah, Boris Marasigan. Alam mo, Jay, I've been waiting for this kid to break out for two years now. He was a member of the UE Junior Warriors. We've seen his potential. And I understand why people are expecting big things from him. He's a big guard. Uh -huh. diba? Round number six, Mike Phillips versus Francis Lopez. Hindi na lang si Phillips. Yan ko na lang siya lupok ni Gary Stevens. And Stevens fell down hard. But we've seen this guy before, yeah, Stevens. A. Kumbaga ang treatment ni Stevens sa sahig, eh, parang foam lang. But <laughs> check out this mid air collision between Akul Nane and Stevens. And if anything, Danny Stevens. Iniinda niya yung right elbow niya. Yeah. Namukang na people's elbow niya yung. Hardwood. Yeah. But there's, the, have, there's the right arm slamming on the hardwood. You have to give credit to him staying and keeping his defense contra dito kay Agunane. And Stevens will troop back to the bench perhaps to seek some treatment. And Hendry Agunane is at the free throw line. 
Sean Alter comes in. I mean, Jay, I'm curious. Ah. Oh. I mean, Dikachi Ododo, your FSA in the UK from Guangming College has not yet fielded. Coach Goldwyn is opting to put his other guys, his locals, to si Alter, si Stevens, to match up contra dito kay Henry Agulane. So, maybe a learning chance. I think it was Francis Lopez who tapped that yes. ball in. But they'll give that reward to Mike Phillips. That will make La Salle a bit closer to UP 11-9. Shot clock at 9 seconds for... That's gonna be a foul. For this Marasigan, Harold Alarcon will go to the free throw line. Jay, you know, we were talking about earlier about La Salle being virtually the same lineup. Well, on, the, on the flip side, almost the same. Almost so, the same then. But Malik, do you think? Well, it's a lot of things. It's a lot of things that are not going to happen. So that's something that they're trying to address with. Of course, Alter was there last year. Uh, Gary Stevens is here now. But siguro, yun nga, another pressure para to sa FSA nila to really match up kung ano yung nagawa ng Malik Diyos para sa UP. 39 is the count. Five and a half remaining in the first quarter. Napapalig yun si Boris. They just pass. It's up to turn over. And the bullet is gone. Isa pang abang ito dito sa UP, no? Aldous Torbulas has been on an ascent since last season. With, kita mo naman yung haba, eh, di ba? Oh. His athletic gift has allowed him to really shine as a reliable 3-and-D option para sa UP. What about that drive to the basket courtesy of Mike Phillips? Meron na din atake si Mike Phillips. Ayun na naman si Aldous Torbulas. Now he's battling with Mike Phillips. Boy, talk about the off-ball action. These two teams are showcasing. First game pa lang natin, di ba? First game pa lang natin, di ba? First game day pa lang natin itong first game nitong magkabilang ko po na ito. Check this out right here. Fantastic cameraman just captured that monumental battle at the post area matatawagan ng foul itong si Aldous Torcolas we have this time out lamang ang UP final match para sa ating opening game day at ito nga pinaka-exciting game kung saan ang UP Fighting Maroons will go up against the DLSU Green Archers. Kanina, I was able to speak with JD Kagulangan and he told me there's nothing unusual he did in coming to this game. Sabi niya nga sa akin, in his final year, he just really wants to enjoy this match, especially na marami silang rookie players na makakasama sa larong ito. Sabi niya nga rin sa akin na Although may mga unusual na ginawa siya, the old and the new players are mixing up well with the familiar foes facing each other. There will be no pressure, just purely enjoyment on this match. Sabi niya nga rin sa akin na yung bench nila, very deep. Whoever's inside the court, he is sure, very sure, na magpa-perform sila at nagawin nila ang kanilang mga roles. Jay and Randolph. Maraming salamat, Daphne. And if anything, di ba, to that, to piggyback that support of Daphne as JC Bacalala makes his entry, announces his entry via that basket. Ito-dosen kompleto na yung laro ni Maybay. Oo oh, naman. In retrospect, UP was just perhaps a couple of shots away from winning a championship eh. Eh, diba? yung championship na yun could have gone either way. Oh, oh. It was an absolute gladiator battle between Lasalle and UP. And it's always a treat to see them battle made with the UAP or made with oh. the preseason. And now, we're being treated to that high-stakes 
high quality game between those two teams. That's why if anything, as Kevin Chabao also making his entry in this ball game, some more thing, one more thing about JD Kagulangan. The consistency itself or sustaining that kind of game. Siya yung bumigay ng pasa doon, papunta kay Harang Kalampot, di ba? Maintaining that level of game is a glute itself, eh. Yes. Uh, ang, ang problema natin siguro is, remember he found himself in a couple of issues because of the injury, uh, oh, the oh, human oh, injury. Oh, oh. But he, he has to shake that off, eh. He knows we can argue that he's one of the best, if not the best, point guard in college today. So, take that away, yung mga kontrobesa na gawin sa kanya. He can play to his potential. Oh, yeah. In the meantime, De La Salle University is in a relatively unfamiliar territory for, we can say, base sa nakikita natin, on a couple of months, they're trailing by 10. With under three and a half remaining, check out this Jangnan hot pot, hot shot three of the quarter na may pang-bonus na pasa mula kay Maymay, papunta kay Harold Talarcon, sinasasabi ni Maymay, libre mo ako, pare, ha? Hindi, may ibang ililibre yata si Harold, eh. Tsaka na yun. Teammates muna. Reward mo muna yung namasa sa'yo. Reward mo muna yung namasa sa'yo. But yeah, you say this is an unfamiliar territory for Lasal being down. We expect that to change, di ba? The big, the big boy, probably the best player in college today. Uh -oh. Kevin Kambao is finally on the court after playing sa kung saan saan. <laughs> and now he's back home with Lasal playing for the game one in sa Villoil. Nasa loob na rin si CJ Ostrich at si Jonathan Policarpio in the meantime. That's a mystery coming from Ham of the Larkon. With over three minutes remaining in the opening frame. 23-15. Fighting Maroons, CJ Osnia, an open volley, who opted to go inside, who beat in the air, and it is on the band. A lot of contact, no one was blown, like Mama Dele, Lumea, a lot of love. Nice. From Mark Belmonte. Nice drive by Mark Hill Belmonte. You know, last year he made his name, Tears of Hill Oil, playing this exceptional for UP, and he looks like he's not stopping. Prove it to be a vital card for a coach called in Monteverde. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. It's long. It's long. It's long. It took time. It took time. It took time. Shot clock and seven for the Fighting Maroons. Wanted to go baseline, but there was a foul coming from Kevin Kiambao. Penalty na ang Lasal. Ito muna yung fast break na ginawa ni Mark Hill Belmonte. That fast break courtesy of the fast acting ABC Tile and Isip. Yeah, I'm looking at the Lasal 5 on the court. Nag-platoon substitution sila eh. This could be the starting 5 in any team. That's correct. Jornel, KQ, CJ, JC Makalalag, and Raymond Cortez. What an embarrassment of talent for Coach uh, Topics Robinson. But on the flip side, you can also say the same para sa UP with finally Terrence Fortea will check in uh, for Jerry Abadjano. Oh. But this is Lowell Briones, Mark Belmonte, Ernest Felicilda is there. Really just the quality of these players from the bench to their, uh, from their starters to their bench is just overflowing. Ano yung sasabihin dyan sa kanto? Walang tapon. Oo. Oh. Approaching the final two minutes of the first quarter, CJ Austria. Nice pass to Kevin Kiambao. Ang dami kasi nakabarot doon sa shaded lane. <laughs> But yeah, you know, baka kasi naninibago ulit sa hardcore si KQ. <laughs> Sanay kasi... Might be a consideration. Medyo na ano sa cemento eh. Nasana yung cemento eh. Nakawala si Mark Hill! The basket is good plus a foul. I must say this, it's a great matchup. One on one, si Pauli and si Mark Belmonte. Same build, yes. same kind of play. But at that, but that time, Mark Hill Belmonte got the better end of it. Both underrated forwards, hardworking, hard nosed. If there's one thing that you can say to sa parehas, hindi yan mapapagod eh. The motor, the activity, the, parang nakikipagpatayan uh -huh. para sa bola. And one more thing, parehas na sapatos. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan, babawi si Pauli. 
Help! A foul! Jonel Policarpio. Kapag nag-takeover mode yan, di ba? Pag pinagana niya lahat ng offensive weapon niya, ng offensive arsenal niya, katakot, no? Mm -hmm. Alam mo, nakakagulat nga dyan that he developed during the UAP season last year. Hmm. Yeah, outside shooting Outside na. shot. That's correct. Add to that, yung God-given talents niya on his toughness down low, his activity, his energy on both ends of the floor. Tapos meron ka pa Kevin Tiambaw sa tabi. Para ang dayan eh. Oo. But more pressing matters. Lasal is trailing by 11. 29-18. With around 90 seconds remaining. Kingsley Ododo is now in the game for Coach Colts. There's a chance for Dikachi Ododo to show na kaya niyang palitan yung ginawa ni Malik Diyuf. But, you know, it can't be said on paper. He has to put it on the court. On the second try, nahiya na tumira sa tres. Umatake na lang. Not a problem. Coming from Chico Briones. Nice drive by low, by uh, Chico Briones. I was gonna say low and low and low. Yung tatay, yeah. Yung tatay, oo. Oh. Pero pag nag-activate naman sa offense, eh, pwede naman ito. Oh, ni low and Briones yan, eh. Naging kadeadly sa offense. Ah, ah libre na naman sa tres. Tabing ila. Poli. Wanting to go all Ooh. the way! Got to whack on that drive. A foul's gonna be called against Jan Jan Penisilda. Tignan mo na natin itong El Bostic El General. Defensive play of the game. Walang mapupunta si CJ Austria. Yan ang Bostic El General. Tapang! Four quarter na ba? First quarter pa lang, bakit, sir. Bakit? <laughs> yung intensity. Grabe Kanina yung. Kanina pa fourth quarter. Grabe yung action natin. Actually, the carryover yan kasi nung letran beda kanina. Yeah, I mean, the intensity, it feels like we're watching a finals game. Could very well be a finals preview, but really just both teams refusing to show na willing kaming matalo. They, they just want to set... The tone for their season, this is the start of their preseason preparations. And we expect nothing, uh -oh. nothing less from them. 31-19 in favor of the Fighting Maroons. Around 35 seconds remaining in the opening frame. Portea, makikiran sa baseline. Nasa na doon si Jay Austria. Nasa. Bangpas. Libre sa kaliwang kanto. JC makalalag malakas. Rebound battle won by Jonel Policarpio. That's just, what he can deliver. Just the activity of Jonel Policarpio. May it be offense, defense. His nose for the ball is very exceptional. Final second, layup no good. Nangakahabol si Ododo. But the play was halted by the referee. There was a foul against UP. At tatawagan. Si Dikachi, si Kingsley. Kingsley na ba siya? <laughs> Dikachi siya last Dikachi year with Guag. Dikachi last year sa Guag. Pero kung habulin mo yung full name niya, syempre, di ba, maka... Yung mga French, mga French yeah. two-set na Africans, di ba? Magaganda yung mga... Oh. Very classical yung first name niya. Na. Kingsley, kanina si Precious. Oh, Precious mo mo eh. Oh. Last year, yung uh, FSA ng uh, Atena si God's Love. God's so, Love? Yeah. Oh. Ah, akala ko, it's a case of pag, pag lumipat ka, mag-iba pangalan mo. Kasi Joshua Karakot was ha Joshua, Joshua High School Karakot. and then Andre, Andre. na siya college eh. Ganda case study yan. <laughs> <laughs> Kaso ngayon, it's Pitch Raven Cortez. And that's gonna do it for the first quarter where the Fighting Maroons literally fought the Green Archers Kaya panoorin muna natin itong Smart Power Up Plays brought to you by Smart Power All 99. Get 8 gigabytes of all-access data on TikTok and on the all-net calls and texts for 7 days load now. Figuratively and literally, perhaps, it was a battle. A serious physical battle between these two teams and in the first 10 minutes of play, ang UP ang nananaeg 31 to 22.
Generation Z. Authentic. Real. They thrive in the mundane. But let's be real. Nobody knows what they want. Only they truly understand. For real? Yeah, but that's okay. We get what you need. Uh, guys, where are we going now? Anywhere! Mountain, beach, middle of nowhere! Why? Because we can! Well, let me help out. Smart 5G. Best in 5G coverage experience and best in 5G availability. Oh, wow, those are a lot of apps. That's fine. When you got power off, you could do it all. Multiple apps? <laughs> no problem. From Wi-Fi to data in an instant. Yes, sir. Magic Data saves you any time you need it. And it doesn't expire? That's right. Cool. Second quarter is upon us. And ayan, nakikita niyo on your screens. That's Claudia Kowanko on the right side. She did the honors of doing the ceremonial toss in our main game for the day. Siyempre, Lasal and UP. Pag sinabi mong Lasal, eh, nandyan yung... Everlasting support the Ambassador Dating yeah. Kuwako. Yeah, a big part of uh, the Phil Oil, Egg Oil preseason family. Oh, oh, oh. The trophy actually is named uh, after the late ECJ. Oh, oh. And we're sure both of these teams would love to have them. Actually, Parehas former champions ng mga to oh, oh, oh. preseason. Eh. So, they would like to add the ECJ trophy doon sa kanilang uh, trophy cabinet. Nakakatawa, no? Ang dami na nating mga angel na nakatutok sa atin dito. Of course, Ambassador Dating Kuwako, Chairman Ray Gamboa. Oo. Oh, we paid tribute earlier Ay, today. today. Oh. Uh, Coach Eric Del Rosario is oh. a former commissioner. Joey Lim. Uh, Rolly Malapas. Coach uh, Ato Badolato. Yeah, Coach Ato Badolato. For sure, uh, they've They've been guiding us oh. as we offer the 17th ECJ Preseason Cup. The beam time, brave attack coming from Janjan Felicilda. Hindi makatake ang Lasal. Ang haba ng mga batang to. <laughs> Grabe yung weak spot. Oh, oh. Lopez for three. Too strong. KQ with a rebound. Siya na magbababa ng bola na yan. Yeah. Nakakakita ng opening si Polly ang tatapos. Just the luxury of having a Kevin Kiambao, a Junel Policarpio, and a Raver Cortez inside. Five big lineup, ha? Mm -hmm. And with this kind of lineup, ang tatangkat nila, your point guard will naturally be the guy who is so comfortable with the uh, leather and with that one hell of a vision. And, that, and that's the guy right there who just sends it. Just overpass it to Raven Cortez, but how about it in possession? Kambao for three. Kapal! <laughs> Sir, I, I, I'm just speechless. <laughs> we were talking about the search for a point guard. Hindi mo na kailangan ko may Kevin Kambao eh. That's a Jangnan hot pot, hot shot three. Hot pot ba sa Jangnan na? Nauubos yung labang na UP, kaya tumawag ng timeout. Si Coach Goldwyn Monteverde, 31-27 UP, 8-21 remaining in the second quarter. Side, the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. We just have to continue talking about Kevin Kambao being the point guard because come to think of it, kung ilalagay, kung titignan mo yung three spot, ang dami sa lineup ng Lasal na pwede mong ilagay sa three spot na yan. Yes. Uh, actually, mamili ka na lang dyan. Ayan, Earl Abadab. Boris Maranis Masigan, Earl Abadab. JC makalalagay Makalala. kill that role. No. Diba? Pauli can actually play three. Diba? Wala na. Point guard pa lang. Kevin Kambao. My goodness. What a luxury. What oh. a luxury. I mean, he has really put it all together from the playmaking to the defense to the three-point shooting. 
Again, there I say, the best college player today. No one can make an argument. And I dare anyone to challenge me with that statement. In the meantime, Jacob Leonis missing that mid-range. Nagmamadali si Kambao. Apat na lang ay nahabo nila. They were trading by as much as 14 earlier. Inside the back. Sack na naman si Gary Stevens. And every time Michael Phillips is on the floor, hand-to-hand -hand combat is hard to avoid. That was a nice pass by CJ Austria. Gary Stevens was late on the defense and napagat siya ni Michael Phillips. But parang dapat meron tayong counter every time ni bumabagsak. Especially for Gary Stevens. Mag maglalaban sila ni Mike Phillips kung ilan yung ilan beses lang babagsak sa, sa flooring natin. Eh. Hindi hardwood ang kailangan nito. Canvas eh. <laughs> Wrestling ring eh. Tumatalbog, uh. diba? But it's a testament to the conditioning of these players that no matter how many times they fall, they still get back up. 31-28 UP. It was a 14-point separation just a few minutes ago. JT Kagulangan is back. And he's back to bring some stability in this UP play. Everything started with J.D. Kagulangan setting the tone, playmaking for UP. Yun yung nakaalaw sa nila to erect that big lead. And they have to go back to that. Lopez could not clean that one up. Joshua David with the rebound. No matter how long the game is about, looking for friends. Austria has it. Asking for a screen from Phillips. CJ going to his left. Ooh. Nice pass to Mike Phillips. Pumeke ba? Walang nangyari sa tira. Rebound save wow. to Kevin Kiambao. Nice step by Joshua David. What a sequence. Just the quality. Both teams refusing to give an inch. Quick answer coming from by Mike Agulangan. 35-30 UP. We're seeing Deutsch Dumo for the first time, Jay. Oh, oh, oh. An exceptional rookie from San Beda and the USD. And now he's representing LaSalle. I really love the, the activity of that kid. It's just a matter of how fast he can adapt. Lalo na kasabay niya, mga kuya. Oh, oh. Papanda ni Harold Alarcon. And UP wanting to break that separation back again. They're ahead 37 30. Phillips launching a three. Too strong. May green light, no? May green light si Michael Phillips to shoot uh, that. Actually, hindi lang siya. Henry Anyone? Yeah. Eh. yeah. Meron din. Lalo na yan. Bitis nga lang. Good idea. On that tap, hindi lang gumana para dito kay Torres. Ito talaga green light. <laughs> you know what's amazing? We're just waiting for the reaction, di ba? May setup, may setup sa delivery. Hintayin lang natin yung bola, pumasok, sisigaw yung crowd. He's making, they are making life easy for us. Uh -oh. And really, what a treat to watch this game. There's a foul on the screen play. Michael Phillips will be tagged for that foul. Check out this. Chapman Hatbat Hatshat 3. Gustong humabol ni KQ sa Chapman. Kasi Hatbat ba? Chapman na talaga. Sabi, sabi siguro ni KQ kay Joshua Tagala kanina. Oy, Oy, sama ako ha. Tied mo ako ha. <laughs> Again, Joshua Tagala earlier, 5 threes. Nakakailan si Kevin ngayon. Kevin Kiambao off the bench. Already 2 of 2. Second quarter pa pala tayo, 5 minutes yeah. pa. Eto si Francis Lopez. Gusto rin sumama eh. Gusto rin sumama yan. <laughs> But you can imagine, if Francis Lopez, but dumanda yung shooting yeah. niya. Oh, it's gonna be a it's always, really legal guy. It's always been the case for... Francis Lopez, even when he was still with LSGH. No question his slashing abilities, eh, but really the perimeter shooting, that has been suspect. Ayan, sa attacking abilities, in fact, si Francis Lopez, si Mike Phillips, ang nasalubong niya. Ball on out of bounds, it will go to LaSalle. 
And this is a golden opportunity for Coach Tomex Robinson to completely erase that 14 point lead of UP earlier on. For at 26 and at pass. Miscommunication between Joshua and David. I Lugin thought he was going to, to EJ Goliena dapat eh. Pero parang oh. nagawin si Michael na, ah, akin pala. <laughs> Swerte nila nakabawi. Oh. Oh. Balik si Mark Hill Belmonte. Balik si Decachi Odudo. Pagkakataon ulit para sa Lasal na makuha ang kalamaman. Turnover na naman. Nag-iisa si Mike Pai. Hit up on the Phillips. Great block. Double for Mike Phillips. What a block by Michael Phillips. Yung kind of approach, di ba? Yung dadahan-dahanin. Tignan mo yan. Tignan natin yung Bostic Eleneral Defensive Player of the Game. Yung dadahan-dahan si Mike Phillips. Alam mo ang aabotin eh. And he likes that. That's always been a part of his arsenal. Yung chase down na yun, yung malalibro na chase down, oh. he loves that. Talk about Tapal, Bostic, El General yan. Mark Belmonte, going to his left, to the Indian, to the way. Three-point lead, Randall. Just what I gave. I mean, if you're not enjoying this, I don't know what, <laughs> what excites you. <laughs> 3 and 49 remaining in the second quarter. Ito mo na ginawa ni Mark Belmonte. Right there, slap. A spin, the fadeaway. On net. Diba? Gagayahin mo mga mga yan siguro. Para mahirap. Ay, nakalusaw ang Stumo. Crafty move by Doi Stumo. I mean, he has that. He knows. We know how good that kid is. He's been the main option when it comes to high school. Ito, ulitin pa natin. For your pleasure, di ba? And really to do that against J.D. Kagulangan. Just that quick first step. We need to mention this. Ito yung nakakatawa kay Coach Tomlitz Robinson. You have this all-experienced, all-senior team. But there's this always... One young guy, di ba? Na ilalagay niya dyan sa lobo. Yung sasama dun sa final lineup. He did this with Santi Romero. He did this with Bonta, ha? And now he's doing it with Pestumo. Actually, he did that with EJ Goliena last year. EJ Goliena, oo. Di ba? Parang na ino-OJT. Di ba? Parang ganun yung regular. Solid na immersion yan, sir. 41-38, UP Agonare has that day. Wow. Yes, indeed. Tie game. That 14-14 earlier is totally serene right now. Look at the battle down low between Ododo and uh, Agonare. Oh. Almost a turnover. Alarcon has time to work with. Screen provided. Alarcon, ball up. No, rebound. Michael Phillips. Just a rebounding demon. Oh. Ito si Michael Phillips. Straight but short. Lasal ground ready to explode. Hindi nga lang pumasa mo tres ni Dumo. My my will settle things down. Nakatayo na si Coach Golds. Hindi na tumawag ng timeout. Ganyan ka seryoso itong larong to. Pinupuersa mo yung Golds in Monteverde. On a pre-season game to really stand up. A ton of contact on that screen play. Walang pakailang si JD Kagulangan. Basta libre siya. Sige, titira ko na. Agunane sa ilalim naman. Pabant na wala. Rebound na kuha. Ni Harold Alarcon. Final two minutes approaching. Nang first half. Nang first half. Okay. Okay. Oh, nang first half. Feeling ko, last two minutes na rin eh. Maymay na naman. Tabing eh. Saved by Mark Hill Belmonte. Inside. Ododo versus Big Agonane. Boy, Naiipin. Mapipituhan ng 3 seconds. Yan din yung kailangan ma-realize ni Kingsley Ododo. Yes. Na hindi na, again, hindi na lang kung sino-sino kalaban mo. 
He's not alone in this field. He's not the only big guy in that field. If he's dominating where he came from, he can't do that here. Yep. Kevin Kiambao. Back against down the position. Wow. Kiambao, Machado Manipes. Last touch of Mike Phillips. I want to know this, Jay. Uh -huh. If you see new piece rotation, almost the same young guards, and then Coach Goldin is trying to see who works sa big men to address yung Malik Dio. Uh -huh. Kita natin si Alter, si Stevens, si Dikachi, ngayon si Markel Belmonte. Yung, yung Lasal, they try to address yung kawala ng Evan Elliott. Ang problema, may Kevin Kiambawa sa rotation mo ng guards eh. Parang kakaiba yun. Uh, this chess match is so fun to watch na ito. Yung sub. And Pauli Cardio oh. with a sorry miss. Kagulo sa bola. Si Pauli ang nakakuha. Kaso ang laki ng sapatos ni Jonel Pauli Cardio. Too much. <laughs> Sabi ni Coach Goldwyn Monteverde, higa muna tayo lahat pare-parehas, di ba? 63 seconds pa to, lamang na tatlo ang UP, 44-41. When is our app not just an app? When it gives you more with every tap, it puts power in your hands and makes you feel special along the way. It's your account manager. Bills Viewer and Payment Partner, Balance Checker, Promo Loader, Points Collector, and Rewards Giver of the stuff you love. When is our app not just an app? When it's the Smart App. Download it now. 44-41 is the count. 63 seconds to go, and together, with what we can say, perhaps a thousand gathered inside the Billboard Equal Center, uh, enjoying what they're seeing so far in the first 19 minutes of play. Uh. First half, palang to, kanina pa natin sinasabi. And we're just in our first play date ng ating <laughs> Bill Oil, Ego Oil, 17th ECJ Preseason Cup, J. Uh -oh. Babakit na natin habang may pagkakataon ang susunod po na play date natin sa May 17. Pahinga Mame... muna tayo. Pahinga muna tayo. <laughs> May 17, balik tayo. Mamaya yung kwento natin. Yung mga susunod na laban. Yung mga magiging laban sa May 17. Pero balik muna tayo sa action. UP timeout, UP turnover. Tumatak po si Raven. Nag... Oh, that hesitation proved quite costly kasi nakasupalpal itong si Kingsley Ododo. Inside, top shot, a lot of contact, no whistle was blown. Playoff basketball na ba to? Indeed. <laughs> Some yeah. time on the shot clock. Seven seconds, says the shot clock. Nagkakanta na pa si Alarcon, e lang ang kumira. Step side, no. Rebound mo, tik na ipasok ni Pauli to sa basket ng UP. And the ball went out of bounds, it will go UP's way. I'm interested with this decision. <laughs> Ito muna, Bostic El General defensive play of the game muna na abot ni Kingsley Ododo. Again, that hesitation of Raven Cortez proved quite costly. Yan ang Bostic El General. I mean, I'm talking about the matchups. Kambao is matching up against Abadjano ngayon. Kanina, he's facing Harold Alarco. Oh, oh. Shot clock, nauubos pa yung game clock. Top shot, Harold wow. Alarco! That short corner jumper. Lasal will utilize a timeout with six tenths of a second remaining, 46-41 UP. And we'll try to hang on the air to dissect what exactly happened. Pero pa oras sa ating first half. But, but really, look at this, Jay. JD Kagulangan says, what helped defense, Jonel? Oh. I got the better shot. And that was well defended. Itong, uh, si EJ Abada, but really just the veteran smarts that fade away has always been one of the moves to si Harold Alarcon. Nine points for Harold Alarcon in the first half. But those nine points, kung i-convert mo sabihin natin, a lot of boxing references today, <laughs> diba? Haymaker eh, Yeah. Diba? But the thing is, we're still just in round 6 of 12. 
<laughs> Mahaba pa. Mahaba pa. But really just a great battle between Lasal and UP. Battle of heavyweights. Some can argue the two best teams, not just in their group, but in this 18-team tournament. Uh -huh. And you see the urgency na 0.6 seconds to my mode pa rin. Si Coach Topic sa Robinson. Well, the thing is, yung timeout naman na first half, di naman nila mababa ng second half. Kaya might as well use it. Tignan natin kung may play sila with the six tenths of a second remaining. Binato ni Poli. Nasa po lang ni Belmonte. And that will officially do it for our first half. Five-point advantage. Five-point advantage for UP. And ito na ang pagkakataon para makita na natin ang ating smart powered up plays. Natin sa atin ng Smart Power All 99 get 8 gigabytes of all access data on the TikTok and on the all net calls and text for 7 days load na back shot Brandon Yosun I mean <laughs> I'm, I'm just speechless the, the level of play from JD Kagulangan Kevin Kiambao Jonel Polycarpio the battle between Francis Lopez and Michael Phillips completos regados and we still have two more quarters to, to watch. That's the good news. 20 more minutes of basketball. Diba? 46-41 ang ating halftime score. Ang tabayan niyo po ang Hates 1-1 one -on -one King of the Court Tournament. In a short while, we'll also be back for the Postic El General Halftime Report. Kampo si Babes, di ko daw sa sinyo stories. Sa TNT, surf saya 30, mapapost mo siya sa FB, IG, at kahit TikTok pa. Get 8 gigabytes of all access power. To do it all. Plus only TikTok to scroll and share non-stop. Power, work, life and more. With Smart Power All. All access data now up to 90 days. Load now. Enjoy only 5G data. Only calls and texts. And only Netflix mobile on us. All with Smart Postpaid's powerful SIM only plans starting at 999. Get it on eSIM online. Only with Smart Postpaid. Go beyond with Smart, the country's fastest and best mobile network. With unlimited 5G data for 12 months. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll now start the Hames one-on-one -on -one King of the Hardcore. The first to make 15 wins the game. And for every possession, you'll give it 14 seconds. Shot clock. All right, Jack and Boy, who's going to be the first? So the first possession will be for Arellano. That's uh, Roy Antalan. It's going to be one-on-one -on -one King of the Hardcore. Here's Antalan. He fires from downtown. Nothing. Gets the offensive rebound. Antalan almost lost it. From the baseline. Go for the low post. Baggy bodies. Nowhere to go. Goes for a difficult angle. And he was fouled. Basket counts. So a point. And one more free throw for Roy Antalan. And he makes it. And the score now is 2-0. Here's Atalan, the spin, the turn, no. Here's Austin runs on, low post play, the hook shot, magnificent. It is now 2-1, our score. So the score now is 2-1. The official score, the reverse, yes. And we are tied at two apiece. 
Two minutes remaining in this one-on-one -on -one King of the Heart Court. Here's the jumper. It goes out, rebound by Antalan. He's to move out of the cylinder. And here's the drive, Antalan, nice spin. And he makes a foul again against Gonzon. So Antalan will give in one free throw. Just one free throw. The time remaining is a minute and 37. We are tied at two apiece. Again, this is Haynes, one-on-one, -on -one, King of the Heart Court, presented by Haynes, and he scores. So Roy Antalan, three, Austin runs on two. A minute and a half, we are halfway point of this one-on-one. -on -one. Here's the drive again, Antalan. Low post play, fakes, puts it up, hook shot, it goes out. Good defense there by Ronzo. It's Austin. Oh. A little umbilical breaker, but he was deflected. One more serving, still nothing. And Atalan gets it right back. The game clock is now approaching one minute. Shot clock at nine seconds. Atalan moves out. He drives against one zone. Left-handed layup. It goes out. Good defense by Austin. 55 ticks. Three to two is the score. Atalan with a one-point lead. Nothing for Austin. Good box out tactics there by Roy Atalan. Time down to 45 ticks. Eight on the shot clock. Banging bodies again. And Atala with a good crossover. And it's going to be another foul. Another foul by one zone. The clock now is at 28 seconds. So we're going to have a timeout. It's just a 20 second timeout just to have a breather for, for both players. Three to two is our count. Action resumes. Three to two is the count. Time remaining is 24.2 seconds. One free throw will be given by Antala. He's leading by a point. It's no good. Oh, look at this. Antalan gets it right back, but gets a steal by Austin Wanzone. And Wanzone will tie it at 3 all. Final 16, 14 seconds. And the shot clock is now off. 12 seconds. Down to 10. We are tied. Let's see if Austin can go for the win. Five seconds remaining. Wanzone. Down to three. Down to two. He puts it up. It goes! So, for the very first Haynes one on one King of the High Court, it's Austin Wonzon wins. We will see a gift back from Haynes. Congratulations. Enjoy only 5G data, only calls and texts, and only Netflix mobile on us. All with smart postpaid, powerful SIM only plans starting at 999. Get it on eSIM online, only with smart postpaid. Go beyond with smart, the country's fastest and best mobile network. With unlimited 5G data for 12 months. Unlimited text and calls for both mobile and landline. And unlimited Netflix mobile on us. All with Smart Postpaid's powerful SIM only plan starting at 999. Get it on eSIM online, anytime, anywhere. Switch now and keep your number. Get the power to go beyond. Only with Smart Postpaid. Generation Z. Authentic. Real. They thrive in the mundane. But let's be real. Nobody knows what they want. Only they truly understand. For real? Yeah, but that's okay. We get what you need. Uh, guys, where are we going now? Anywhere! Mountain, beach, middle of nowhere! Why? Because we can! Well, let me help out. Smart 5G. 
best in 5G coverage experience and best in 5G availability. Oh, wow, those are a lot of apps. That's fine. When you got power off, you could do it all. Multiple apps? <laughs> no problem. From Wi-Fi to data in an instant. Yes, sir. Magic Data saves you any time you need it. And it doesn't expire? That's right. Cool. Oh, dead spot. <sighs> if only you could switch in an instant. Oh, wait. What? what? Eason, Eason, is that easy? For fur. For real kasi. Backed up by nationwide coverage. So, yeah. Nobody knows what Gen Z's want, but we can keep up with real connection and real fast data. Live for real with Smart 5G plus nationwide LTE, Power Off, Magic Data, and eSIM. You guys pretty much know what we need. Live more today. When is our app not just an app? When it gives you more with every tap. It puts power in your hands and makes you feel special along the way. It's your account manager. Bills viewer and payment partner. Balance checker. Promo loader, coins collector, and rewards giver of the stuff you love. When is our app not just an app? When it's the smart app. Download it now. Kampo si Babes, hindi ko daw sa sinu stories. Sa TNT, surf saya 30, mapapost mo siya sa FB, IG, at kahit TikTok pa. Forty six forty one is the count after twenty minutes of play. Nakakalamang ang UP Fighting Maroons over De La Salle Green Archers. J. De La Cruz together with Randolph Leongson with Daphne Cristobal at oras na para sa ating Postic El General halftime stats. You can see the difference when it comes to the three point shooting percentage. Four of eight. Isa. Kahit sa dalawang tira na lang pumapasok. UP, you know they're taking up their shots. Pero again, it's not really, masasabi natin for lack of a better term, it's not really the, the strength of the fighting maroon yeah, set. Outside shooting. Hindi talaga yun yung ano. But also, you have to look. The, the reason why UP is ahead is because they've, they've been more careful. I know Las Alas been trying to, so hard to pound it inside, but 12 turnovers. Mm -hmm. Ang bagay lang, they're sharing the ball. That's led to 10 assists. Karamihan doon ended with 3-pointers. Uh -huh. Dalawa kay Kevin Kiambao. There, but karamihan ng assists na yun, galing kay Kevin Kiambao. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Kevin Kiambao, actually, hindi lang nabibilang dito yung mga hockey assists. Yes. Eh, Marami siya doon eh. Yung, pa, yung hockey assists, yung pasa na Mag papasa rin. Papapasa rin na magiging assist. Ito yung pinag-usapan natin kanina. Sa May 17 tayo magkikita-kita dito sa loob ng Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. First game, mag-umpisa tayo ng alas 9, FEU kontra UE. Second game ng alas 11, LPU, JRU. Babalik ang JRU dito at saka LPU. Third game, 1 p.m. Per perpetual help. Then, Caliote San Juan de Letran. At 3 p.m., we have CSP going up against San Sebastian. Closing game natin, UST versus Lasal. They'll be back in action in six days. That's gonna be a good slate. Another quintuple header. But the, the one that I'm looking out is, how will this rejig UST team match up against uh -huh. the gold standard that's been Lasal? We've heard a lot about UST in the preseason. And daming uh, personal changes. I think only seven yung holdovers. But that's on Friday. Meron pang assignment. Itong Lasal. They have a half left. 
in this UAAP Final 3 match. Hindi pa iniisip ng Lasal yung mangyayari sa Biertes. Yung kayot muna. 20 minutes pa kasi to. At umpisa na natin ang ating second half. 46-41, UP ahead. Jay De La Cruz, Randolph Youngson, Daphne Cristobal. And that is a miss coming from Jerry Abadjano. Ball went out of bounds. It will stay on the side of the Fighting Maroons. Jay, pinag-uusapan natin kanina yung mga OJT. Pinigyan si Toys Dungo. Si Ogana naman yung binigyan ng pagkakataon ni Coach Topics ngayon. May may nagkahanap na takampi. Nagbigay na lang ng screen. Open three. Coming up. In and out. Rebound. Kings Leo. Dodo got whack. All people by Ogana. Nagpakita na tapa ka agad, oh. Mm. <laughs> Sabi niya, porque hindi po niyo balaki yan. Atras ako yan, hindi. Nailabang ka lang if you are uh, Ogana. And you know, you, you're as a new guy, you're fighting for your spot mm -hmm. sa rotation. Hindi ka pwede matuwag eh. Oo. <laughs> not, not this time, di ba? Oh, like, you can be called for a foul, but no easy baskets. Uh -huh. Especially against the UP na parang oh, 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 oh! Back at the rim! And if anything, Mike Phillips, but I'm seeing some real competition, mid intention, swag dito! It was a foul, unfortunately. But you can get that one. As a Bosnik and General defensive player of the game. Paul lang talaga. Ah, yeah. Si so, Kingsley Ododo. The body contact, but the freaking timing by Dikachi Ododo. Mm -hmm. That would have been his third blow of the game. Oh. Uh -huh. At lahat yan, brought by Bosnik and General. <laughs> the but you, the no. UP crowd not liking the foul. Oh. And knowing Mike Phillips, hindi niya iniisip yun na deny siya sa rim na yun. Uh, iniisip niya pa rin, uy, may free throw ako. Uh, Kala ko na pumasok. <laughs> I, I really like how Mike Phillips' attitude is all oh, business. Oh, all business. Never, never ko nakikita. Actually, weird guy. Na parang, yeah, that's another play. Oh. I, I, I may be blocked, <laughs> but next play, oh. uh, I may be black, I may be bumping bodies with my defender, di ba? Laro lang. Oo, laro. One of the nicest guys, yeah. di ba? And most importantly, matatas mag-Tagalog, Jay. <laughs> Ikaw na magugulat. <laughs> Ay, airball. Sa minuto pa lang, ma-action pa rin. Hindi pa rin nagbabago ang tema ng laban na to. Russell Ogana, Kihol Jumper! Parang veterano ang kilos. That's one way to keep yourself on the floor and in the lineup if you're Russell Ogana. There's a chance you have to maximize the opportunities that's been given to you by Coach Topex. See the intelligence of Kevin Kiamba. Yeah. He was just falling away and as a hand-to-hand combat going on and Mike Phillips did not appreciate that one, I believe. And just UP maintaining control in that bench. That bench did not react. And you have to give credit to that bench. Just maintaining that discipline. But my my Kagulaka just took down Mike Phillips. At yung tayo ng Phillips, biglang angat. Pero kalma lang. Pero kalma. Stoic eh. Dead pan eh. Like... He, and, and he was just motioning, ah, may free throw ako. Oo, oh, oh, oh. well, Let's take a look nagulat at that lang, one. Nagulat lang, nagulat lang ang lahat. Yeah. But see the action, that's a solid Jerry push. Yeah. Or it was Jerry Abajano. Jerry that oh. That's definitely a push. And Jerry Abajano just looked down upon Mike Phillips. <laughs> Actually, si CJ <laughs> pa nga yun. Well, I mean, that's what CJ brings, but... Oh. Look, look at that. I mean, Mike Phillips just... Co full comment collected. That's a wonderful part. After all that action, 
Is this a personal foul? Yeah. Oh. The referees are just letting them. I oh. mean, we understand the emotions. Wala namang violence. Kung na totoosin eh. niya, walang emotion is gone because despite of that hard hitting action, the UP bench just ate yeah. up their seats. Yeah. Diba? Actually, it's a good model of all basketball teams. Sa pagbigay niya kung 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 Pero ito feeling card din eh. Seven oh, kapaw. Kabingi lang yung tres niya sa pagkakataon na yun. Ando eight minutes to play in the third. Top layup. Hindi pa kaulit si Rayland. Good idea by Mike Phillips. But Santa Cruz anticipated that one. Let's check out first the smart connection of the game brought to you by Smart Live for Today. Kanda ng tapos si Rayland Tons. Kanda rin naman ang pasa. Nice recognition by J.D. Kagulangan. See, the leak out ito si Rayland Torres. And then Rayland just finishing through traffic. And then still getting two points down. 7 and 41, 17 on the shot clock for UP, or kaya rin for Nassan. Kiambaw. JC. Shot lock, shot ng segundo. Baka lalag po lang. Veterano, alam ni Coach Topex Robinson yung magdadala na JC Makalalag. So if anything, if Coach Topex Robinson is exploring the possibilities, you would understand that JC Makalalag will take a step back. Really an underrated player ito si JC oh. Makalalag. Despite that foul, he has really earned his way in the rotation, making himself an asset mm -hmm. on both ends. Unfortunately, mas malahing nga lang. <laughs> Alang ano yung pwesto yeah. ni Makalalag eh. Eh, umangat pa siya doon sa peke ni... Ni Kachi. Udo, yeah. ni, ni Kachi. Hindi na, hindi na rin kasi mahabol ni Mike Phillips eh. Oo. Oh. He felt it was his responsibility to deny Udodo of that basket. But two free throws para kay Udodo. Seventh point lead for the Fighting Maroons. Seven minutes remaining in the third quarter. Pumunta sa labas, instead doon sa ilalim. JC Makalalag, top layup. Phillips, offensive rebound inside! Punta One to the dunk. One to the dunk. Na-block lang nung ring. <laughs> Bad Joey Boy. Again, two free throws para kay Michael Phillips. This is where he makes a living. Diba? But as of this moment, Mike Phillips is shooting 1 of 4 from the... That's really the problem. He, he, he gets those opportunities. But the offense has always been suspect. That's why we were discussing earlier when he tried for the pull-up J, even the three. It's something that he understands he needs to develop. Because defense, okay, mm -hmm. given yan eh. But just like Jonel Poligarpe, you have to fine-tune, you have to hone those opportunities that are given to you. The free throw will count. But there was a foul on CJ Austria. So just a team foul is going to be added on the side of La Salle. That will put them in the penalty. As Mike Phillips splits his charities earlier. Ocho puntos kay Mike Phillips. Six rebounds. And a lot of contact diba? against these huge UP guys. And Volantres de Torgulas. And shot on Gulas against Mike Phillips as of this moment. Grab your kiss, Yamau, eye to eye with Alter, all four to the three. And he will not get that ball. Nakakua, yung dati niya kakampain si Jerry Abadjano. May nakatapos din na mayam. Some reunion, CJ Austria with the layup. Damadla, it's been a while since CJ Austria. I think this is just. His first two points of this contest, 
eerily weird na hindi natin aramdaman yung presensya ni CJ Austria. But now, they understand. Winning time. Itong second half natin. Especially they're trailing by six. My my. No good on that jumper. Rebound by JC Makalala. Five and 44 remaining. My goodness. Nice shot. Big. Oh, that's a hard fall. That's a hard fall. Chili Abajano falling onto this right shoulder. But all is good. He bought this tough guy. You see. Dalawa yung napakagat ni Mike Phillips. Oo. Oh, oh. So, mabit si Abadjano. Pero kung nasundan nyo yung karir ni Jerry Abadjano, kahit nung nasa NUNS pa lang siya, kahit high school pa lang, kahit nasa Adamson pa lang siya, high school pa lang, bato-bato na yan. Tough as nails. Yes. Jerry Abadjano. Wala lang yan? <laughs> Normal. <laughs> Just another fall. Uh -oh. For Jerry Abajano. It's going to be 17 seconds on the shot clock. 17 seconds on the shot clock. 5 and 40 remaining in the third. Jonel Policatria is back in the small game. Nice crossover. Good idea. But a lot of guys reaching in against Henry Agonane, the guilty party. Could be Jerry Abajano. Tapay nga na rin si Mike Phillips. But yeah, I mean, if you're if you're Lasal, pay nga mo. Mm. Jonel Poligapio kapalit. <laughs> Suck it, Saul. Parang, parang, akala ko mapapay nga na ako, pero ganyan pa rin kapigat yung kalaban mo eh. <laughs> I think that's, uh... Mm. It's another foul for you. Jerry Abajano tanong natawagan kanina na reach and foul. That is gonna be personal foul number three okay. on Jerry Abajano. Limang puntos pa lang para kay Henry Agonane. Hindi na ako yung pang-anim. Oh, wow. Nice na by Jonel Policario Kevin Kiambao with the flash. What a beautiful tip. To see an open Kevin Kambao who's just money down low. Three-point game. Got the sound of the pass by Belmonte. Hindi lang anda si Mark Hill. Lead pass. Agutana naman! And again, Daniel Policarpio making things happen. Just the passing between the big men of La Salle. Doing them wonders and allowing them to get back in this game. Smart Power Talk brought to you by Smart Repaid eSIM. Now available for digital delivery through the Smart Online Store. For only 99 pesos, Henry Agonane. Natuwa sa nakita niya mula kay Kevin Chambao. Tawag tuloy ng bumbero si Coach Colvin Monteverde. Go beyond with Smart, the country's fastest and best mobile network. With unlimited 5G data for 12 months. Unlimited text and calls for both mobile and landline. And unlimited Netflix mobile on us. You're still watching this thrilling game between UP and DLSU. It was just yesterday kung saan nakompleto nga itong Green Archer sa kanilang ensayo. They do know that they became the parameter so they have to double their hard work as much as they could. The targets are on their back so sticking to the system will allow them to always be at their best. No championship in their heads, just a back to zero mentality. Back to you, Jay and Randolph. Ganyan talaga ang lasal Daphne pag naka... Diba, you're a testament to this, diba? Anywhere they go, it's all business. Nothing's the same. They will treat every game as championship. They will treat every game as it's just like any other game. As that is a great finish, and that will merit a technical foul against Michael Belmonte. But again, going back to your point, Jay, 
anywhere when you wear that green and white you have to uh, alam ko siya sabi you can find it but uh -oh. the, the pride of wearing that lasal colors it weighs heavily on you uh -oh. and you don't want to lose regardless to any team. Oh. Lalo na siguro dun sa kalaban ninyo nung huling UAP, oh. champ UAP Championship. Yun siguro yung, 19, yung perception din ni Markel Belmonte na it's going to be a match of honor, di ba? Kapag lalo na pag naatake mo si Henry Santang nasa lista, yung primary big man nila si Henry Agonano, kaya siguro nagawa niyang yung taunting move na yun. In a way, he wanted to send a statement perhaps uh -huh. na parang, eh, kaya kita. Eh, ka oh. sa akin in display. No fear whatsoever, yeah. diba? The problem is our, our referees from the SPP are very wary oh. of that. FIBA rules, eh. Oh. At isa pa, libre point pa yun. Bumasok yung technical free ni Kevin Campbell. Best score natin yun, 56-34. You, me, Joshua David. Nice Aaron interception. Oh. 4 4 Sa ating third quarter. Harut Alarcon is back on the floor outside Markel. Alangane, Tira. Di mo lang kung paano ako malakas ang malobo lang. Inside, Agunane sa ilalim. Nare-wrestling. Two free throws kay Agunane. Bawi daw siya. Bawi si Henry. <laughs> But yeah, nice positioning by Henry Agunane. He understands na hindi pa handa. Si Mark Hill Belmonte. And I think that would be the fourth yes. for Mark Hill Belmonte. That is correct. As exceptional as he's been playing in this game, he will have to check out. Eight points in eight minutes for Mark Hill Belmonte. I mean, that's quality minutes. Uh -oh. Especially, you know that you're playing behind Gani, Ododo, Alter. He's been like that since last season. Just Kumbaga, bang for the buck. Oh, oh, oh. Sulit ka. And Henry Agdonane makes the second free throw. Get out, get the position out there. Masyadong mabilis yung gaming. Gusto kong transition ng UB. Tie game! 56 all. 4 and 23 remaining. In the third period. Set up si Ponteya. Nahabol ni Poli. Oh. Ang baba ng pasa. Third over ang resulta. Now this opens up a chance. Salasal to retake the lead. And with the way Lasal has been playing, so in the past few possessions, Jay, parang kumbaga, na-recapture na nila yung confidence nila eh. Uh -oh. Just like that, it's a walk-up, no pointer coming from Jamel Poligarpio. Anong set-up, set-up? Ako naman. Para warm-up, jumper. Oo. Kasi nakaraming assist na siya eh. That's well deserved. Ten points for Poli. Nice play! Alter just lost that ball mid-air because Jamel Poligarpio slapped his arm. You know what I find the music here, Jamel? Never nag-commit ng foul. Isa sa mga player o isa sa mga karamihan na hindi umaamin na ng foul siya. Pero na akin, akin. Tapos dyan yun, ha? Pero to his credit, akala din naman niya yung defense tasa ang very healthy kasi nalubo niya si Sean Alter eh. But yeah, just... Kaso ball don't lie. Foul ka na ka. Ito muna. Haynes 1-on-1 highlight of the game. Pauli contra Lebron. Tagumpay si Pauli. Actually, he's owned Francis' number in this game. After nung early, early skirmish nung first quarter, uh -oh. parang, Francis has gone silent for, for UP. It's allowed JD and the other guys to really contribute. So, But his it's kind of missing piece. Uh -oh. And you have to remember, his first encounter in this game was against Michael Phillips. Michael Phillips, yeah. Three on the way, too strong. Joshua David to the rebound. Two point advantage for the Green Archers. Two more back in the game. Kanta naman ng kilos, malakas na kay Floater. Lamas mo na kay KQ. Kiambaw, back ironing the three. Medyo minadali ni KQ. Yung tres na yun. Actually, the past two threes. Medyo minadali talaga ni Kevin. Ayan. If 
you, kung ikaw si Francis Lopez, and you need quick two points, you, you will really go back to your strengths. Eh, yes. Diba? Yeah, bow! Diretso, pero kapos, tip oh. in, Agonari got that one, even though Sean Arthur had to do something about that shot. Or that tip in. Nip and talk battle we're having. Parang wala na gusto lumayo eh. I mean... It has KQ been, has also got cold. Oh, uh, it has been that kind of day! Francis Lopez with a three! We're, we're talking earlier on how he needs to develop that. Repetition lang eh. Oo. Oh. Airball pa. Nice lead pass. Napakailaman ni Duco. But Forteo with the recovery. Out on the Brabe. chair. And he did that cha-cha. But that attack. Kita mo naman yung galaw eh. Di ba? Ito muna. Pajaknan muna tayo. With this Jacknan Hot Pot Hot Shot 3. Coming from Francis Lopez. If you're Francis Lopez, you would want more of that. Kasi, Jacklan, ang pasagot dyan. Hot bat ba? Si Jacklan na. May dance studio bang nagtuturo ng chacha sa Jacklan? Alex Compton pa nagreklamo sa akin yan eh. Bakit ka doon may chacha eh? Siya din akong bata para doon. 63-62. Third quarter pa lang tayo. We have 10 more minutes of play coming up. As we're about to head to this third quarter finish. Oh, nice! Nice inside pass! Manimira on the break to Sean Alder! It's just a misdirection allowing Sean Alder to get freed inside. And for that easy dunk. Josh on the bid, hard oh. drive! Henry Agonano with an answer! Right back at you, says Henry Agunane. You do this, I can do one better. Ball up, Alarcon short. Abadab with the rebound. Final minute of the third. The fifth beating the defense. Agunane on top. Dalabas si Abadab. Ball up three. Kapan! The offense has just spiked late in the third quarter. And now the side is ahead. First three points of Earl Abadan. Francis Lopez straight but short. And there's a foul on the rebound play na. Huling nakakapit si Royce Dugo. Ito muna. Smart power dunk mula kay Sean Alter. Isa pa. Si Henry Aguna, nagganda ng pasa ni Joshua De Vito. Yeah. Merong pang pump, di ba? Galing kay Henry Aguna. Smart Power Dump brought to you by Smart. We made ECU. Now available for digital delivery through the Smart Online Store. 99 pesos lang. Third Balik. quarter pala tayo. Oo nga eh. Good na ako. <laughs> well, yeah. This uh, good kind of pagod if you're being treated to this quality basketball. And look who's back, Jay. Oh. Michael Phillips. This and game deserves a loop button. Okay. Diba? You mean they bought it all in all in, diba? Ang ala ko may sabihin kang ayoko eh. <laughs> Over time. <laughs> Ayan natin si Hans siya, si uh, Coach Edster doon. Maaga pa. In the meantime, meron po ng rebound, mananalo. Ang UP, atake, mabibig. Ang kanilang mga kilo si Jensen Pelicinda. Seven seconds to go. Policarpio, the layup, no. May oras pa, a second to go. Pelicinda with a prayer. And that will do it for the third quarter. What an action! Brendan Pilson! Forteya said that he was he was hacked at Sadulo, but the referee saw otherwise as we see this gorgeous, gorgeous move to the Ernest Felicita. Smart signature move of the game brought to you by Smart Signature Plants Plus. Enjoy only 5G and more starting at 999 a month. Apply now. Woo! Let's see some highlights, shall we? Yeah. Diba? Oras na para makita natin yung mga action nung third quarter, syempre, atin sa atin yan. 
Nah, Smart Power All 99. Smart Power the place. Champlain, try to see how Smart Power All 99 get 8 gigabytes of all access data, only TikTok and only all net calls and texts for 7 days. Eh, hey, mag-load na kayo. Sigurado yung dalawang component na yan, nag-load pa. It na was, napakaraming action. It was a dizzying third quarter, but we're just treated with plays after plays. Gorgeous uh, passes, dunks, three-pointers. And ang magandang bagay, may isang quarter pa tayo. Yan yung score, ha? 69-66. Diyan lang kayo. Go beyond with Smart, the country's fastest and best mobile network. With unlimited 5G data for 12 months. Unlimited text and calls for both mobile and landline. And unlimited Netflix mobile on us. Look who's in town. The smiling man. <laughs> Bato For Malik. Former MVP Malik Diouf. A part of our capacity crowd, Jay. Enjoying this first game between these two teams. You ain't very much nothing. And we have one more quarter. <laughs> Fourth quarter is upon us, and Earl Abadab will miss that shot. Could not open that fourth quarter with a huge bucket. Jay De La Cruz, Randolph Youngson, Daphne Cristobal on call in this game. They have a little man, Torres. Want to get away from Raylan Torres, but Kita mo, Michael Phillips still wants that chase down block. Unfortunately, that's a better offense uh -oh. from Raylan. Uh -oh. Oh! May matatawagin ka lang ng delay na game. Yeah, kasi tinapin po ulit. But come on, yeah. This deserves a, a replay. Oh. Smart power dunk. Yan, yeah. siyempre, I brought you by Smart e Prepaid eSIM. 99 pesos lang, kapunta kayo sa Smart Online Store. Woo! Di pa ubos ang highlights natin. <laughs> Raven Cortez for three. Too strong. Rebound won by JC Bacalalag. Let open. Phillips Ayun. with the follow jam. Up and down we go. Just quick answers coming from these two teams. Oh. Somebody's down. Michael, Michael is cramping. Phillips yeah. is cramping. He's holding on to his left leg, but he stood up like it's nothing. It's just a physical anomaly, Randolph. Oh, eh. <laughs> Parang pinapagpag lang eh. Parang masakit na content and then sige, tayo ako. <laughs> but yeah, I think the referees will call something because when his uh, leg was raised, oh, oh. tinamahan si Udodo eh, but yeah. We'll try to get things sorted out. That's what the UP bench is trying to argue. <laughs> Here's what happened. Yeah. Michael Phillips went down. Mukhang nada pa eh. Yeah, he, he felt he got tripped. And then, oh. yeah. Hindi nakuha ng cameras natin, but his leg was up and it hit uh, Lopez. Oh. And even Udo. Oh. Yeah. Francis Lopez is claiming that Michael Phillips deliberately kicked. Yeah, deliberately <laughs> kicking, but the referees thought otherwise. Still, UP ahead by seven. Sila yung nakauna. This is oh. the fourth quarter. Cortez down low. Almost losing that letter. Shot lock at 10. Some serious pressure being felt by the Green Archers on that offensive sequence. And Coach Topex Robinson will resolve that issue by calling this timeout. Labag ng pito ang UP 75-68. Generation Z. Authentic. Real. They thrive in the mundane. But let's be real. Nobody knows what they want. Only they truly understand. For real? Yeah, but that's okay. We get what you need. Uh, guys? Where are we going now? Anywhere! Mountain, beach, middle of nowhere! Why? Because we can! Well, let me help out. Smart 5G. 
best in 5G coverage experience and best in 5G availability. That's fine. When you got power off, you could do it all. Multiple apps. <laughs> Back at us here inside the Philoil Eco Oil Center, may isa rin bumibisita. Galing Japan. Oy, Carl Tamayo. <laughs> oh. Actually, hindi lang bisita to kasi nakikipractice, nakikipractice sa team. Nakikipractice eh. sa rin sa UP. Uh, Carl nag T. Nagpapakondisyon for whatever his next endeavor is. Mm -mm. But yeah, we would like to invite everyone to join us. Dito, not just today, but for the other play days, we have so Friday, month. Yeah. Uh, Friday and Saturday, meron tayo. Oh, back to back. So, <laughs> a um, month of collegiate preseason basketball. Uh -oh. You can't ask for anything else. Kaya talaga ang pinaka-aabakan palagi. Feel uh, on season, mm. matatawag natin, di ba? Around this middle part of the year. Summer. Summer, yeah. oh. Ito na nga, Pilol Ecol 17th ECJ Preseason Cup in the meantime as we resume action. There was a holding foul against Terence Fortea. Fortea had no other option but to give up the foul. Nalalaki na yung mata ni Michael Phillips. Eh. Loki. Alam mo nang tatang, yun yung gusto mangyari. Oo, oh, pinigilan na bago pa mangyari ang lahat. Nakakaupay, nakabasa na ng UP. Three on one. There's a transition defense of a guy named Michael Phillips. Up court, high low, oh. nakalusot si Ododo. Slight touch by Ododo on uh, Raven. Got him free. And that allowed two easy points. Phillips passed up an open three. Nice bounce pass to Joshua David. Ang takad lang Laki. mabantay. JC makalalag na si the three. Rebound Joshua David. This is a couple of minutes gone by in the fourth quarter as David rises up and David won't work. A lot of things happened on that basketball goal. Nothing was called. Coach Topex is saying, Basket should have been a goal then. Oh. Still complaining. Oh. <laughs> but play goes on. Raylan, ang sikip ng pasa. Kaso, di makotrol ni JC. Ball will stay with UP. But the problem, they only have three seconds to put up a shot. These players have affinity of threading the needle. Yung, yung, ang sisikip eh. They try to get away with that. Pero ang hirap eh. If, if the wingspan of the defenders are that, and then it's well read. Uh -oh. Especially the quality of these two teams. Not just the players, but also the coaching. Uh -oh. Hindi ka pwedeng makanakaw ng gano'n lang. And Coach Topex is still actually talking to the referee regarding that previous LaSalle sequence still, in the offense. So, oh. It's still the same play. So resentment to... And the, actually for unsportsmanlike behavior niya. Kasi yeah. kanina pa nagre-reklamo si Topex sa Repuenson. And he could not be stopped. And the UP crowd is demanding a T. Mm -mm. But uh, the referees are just exhibiting uh, extreme patience, I should say. Maximum tolerance. <laughs> yeah, let's look at that. And you lay up the Joshua David. Ah, uh, because Francis tapped the board. Yes, yun yung basket interference yeah. Should have been a goal then, but... Topics Robinson might have a case. Yeah. But they did not call the whistle. Ang pwede pang maging isang sitwasyon kasi niyan, kung tumama mo na yung bola sa board, bago natapik ni Francis Lopez. There's no way anymore that the ball was bothered dahil niya natapik yung board. Pero kung nauna yung tapik, kesa dun sa banda ng bola, ibang usapan yun. Yun guy. And also, ang hirap din in his cases, hindi mo pwede ihabol yung tawag. That's correct. Nasa next possession na tayo. Di retro. Yeah. <laughs> Parang bayan, no? May retro drink. Retro rated yung game. <laughs> 7 27. 77 68 UP. Oh, Dodo. Making his move against Henry Agunane. Not much strength on that shot. Oh, Dodo's not giving up on that play. Oh. Ito na si Point Kevin. Phillips in red and for three. Wow! Oh, Kapumaso! You take that. Okay lang yan. 
Pasok pa rin eh. Every point counts. Especially if you're down. Uh Oo. -oh. Under 7 minutes to play. 6 point lead for the Fighting Maroons. And that was a nice setup by KQ too. Kay Michael. Uh -oh. Great action to send Odo. To send that ball to Odo though at the post. So no avail nga lang. Oh, so they wanted to go baseline. Ooh. Oh, got open. UP at that time out. That was Obviously. a nice clear out oh. by Agunane. Clearing the path for ICJ to get that easy basket to the baseline. Here's what you're describing. Clear path to the baseline. CJ Osnia, sakto sakto lang dun sa linya. And Lasal inching closer. They're just trailing by four here, 77-73. When is our app not just an app? When it gives you more with every tap. It puts power in your hands and makes you feel special along the way. It's your account manager. Bills viewer and payment partner. Balance checker. Promo loader. Coins collector. And rewards giver of the stuff you love. When is our app not just an app? When it's the smart app. Download it now. 6 and 27 remaining in the fourth quarter. Yung kaninang nasa walong punto sa kalama ka ng UP, nababa ng lasal sa apat. Kaya gabit ng timeout si Coach Golds. And looking at some numbers, Randolph. Pantay. Field yeah. shooting, 45% sa lasal, 44% sa UP. Rebounding, plus 4 lang si lasal. Assist, yun talaga advantage sa lasal. Plus 5, di ba? Pero... Steals, plus 5 si UP. Turnovers, 18 turnovers 18, yeah. for Lasal, 11 for UP, resulting to 20 points of turnovers from UP. Tipi to lang sa Lasal. Pinakita sa TV yung ililibre yata ni Harold sa Jagnan. <laughs> but yeah, going back to the game, it's especially in the early goings of fourth quarter, yung turnovers ng UP has really... Ah, uh, sorry. Turnovers ng Lasal, Lasal has really... Uh, Bite them hard. That's why they were they play cap, catch up still. Balik na sa loob si JD Kagulangan. Inatak si Agunane. Ooh. Five foot thick beat and stop, stop, no. What a half time oh. by JD Kagulangan. Veteran moves. Kaya siya na pang iti. 79-73 UP. Another Lasal turnover. Abadjano, pinatira ng tres ng depensa. Wala. Tap by Kambao to CJ Austria, who's on attack mode. Ooh. Austria met by three guys in Maroon. And he will go to the free throw line. You know what I like about CJ? Regardless how tall the defender is, how many defender you are, atakin ko to. He's always been fearless. That's always been his attitude. And he's gonna be rewarded with two free throws. Plus fourth fall pa yata. Ito si JD Kagulangan. Sorry, I think that's Jerry Abadjano. It's Jerry Abadjano yeah. who will be, who was tagged for his fourth personal call. CJ Ose, so four points pa lang. Ayan, five points na. And usually silent, but you know, that we expect him to make an impact no matter how off game he is. Kaya sabi mo nga sa'yo, Jay, mm. para si Jericho Cruz to eh. Pag oh, pinasok oh, oh. mo, full throttle agad lagi. Jericho Cruz na kaliwete. Oo. Oh. <laughs> Nakita kanina, no? Yung ililibre ni Harold Alarcon sa... Jagnan. Jagnan, di ba? But... Sorry na lang, Kevin. Oo. Oh, but just to see, no? Pwede magsama-sama yung sa katilista at yung sa lista. <laughs> of course, that's Taya Gagate and Roma Mito Romal. Watch Ay. it. This action. Henry Agunade acting as... Oh. A point guard might not be the best idea, and CJ Austria ran out of real estate. Some wild sequence in the 5 and 14 mark of this ball game. Dami Palitan, Francis Lopez gonna be back in this ball game. Mike Phillips back as well. 
And Coach Goldwyn Monteverde is now the one who's complaining with the referee. And he's crossing that half yeah. court, demanding some explanation from referee Harry Santos. And now it's the Lasal. Now it's the Lasal naman yeah. ang hihingi ng technical foul. Kaya ayaw akong maging referee. Never ka naging tama. <laughs> Good call or not, someone's gonna complain. But this really, it's just the heat of the moment oh. for, for both teams. Still five minutes, but you see the sense of urgency between these two teams. Every point, every possession counts for them. It's like we just covered 35 minutes of basketball. Dito sa Lasal UP na to, but it's like... We've been doing this for parang nakaka, parang three or four games oh, yung katumbas ito eh. pagdating dun sa action. Ito yung nangyaring sequence. Henry Agunane. The Rams. Ang umipadahin ba? Parang oh. sa loose ball situation. He, yun yung hinahin ko Coach Golding. He does not have the Seven on the shot lock. Nasa kadulutuluan pa si Maymay. Harap si Boris, JD Kagulangan, Valentin step side three, all air, shot clock expired. Na puto ko eh, but you know JD has that shot, and these UP fans remember that shot when he won them the bubble oh. championship back in uh, season '84. That, pwede na kay pangalan sa kanya, no? JD Kagulangan step side. Sabi ko nga, that deserves a statue oh. in UP. Agunane thought about a three, put that ball down. Agunane, good intentions. Pero yung control niya sa bola, di buong buo. Yeah, he lost the ball on his way up. That's why he did not have enough grip for that shot. And Henry Agunane will be called for that foul. That's going to be third. Third personal foul, yes. Pangatlo ni Henry Agunane. At wala pa naman sa penalty ang lasal. Both teams with two team fouls each, but you feel the level of physicality heightening up. <laughs> you parang, ne, no easy baskets. Oh, oh. No easy baskets. Every shot, you have to earn it, you have to bleed for it. You know, I'd backward, eh, diba? Oh. Opo si Agunane, pasok si Policarpio. Harold Alarcon. Sending it to Ududo. Lopez. Kagulangan. Shot clock. Five seconds. My my. Tough jumper. It's short. Ududo. Offensive rebound. Tiniran si Michael Phillips. In and out. Lasal just couldn't get over that hump. Yes. Parang yung ceiling. You need to puncture that. Break get through. Get to within two. You feel like one shot can make a difference, but nakakalapit sa rin ito, hindi nila ma-break yung four-point barrier. Francis in rhythm. Go back! Second three of the game for uh, Francis Lopez. Showing us that he's really working on it. That's correct. 13 points oh. for Francis Lopez. Morris Manasigan got away. Five-point game, UP. Stops na kailangan dito. Oh, Kasa na kalusad si Lopez. That's gonna be a foul on Mike Phillips. That was a bad defensive play for Lasal. You can't give an open lane to Francis Lopez of all people. Because you know he's gonna run with it. Just like in that play. The no hands to Mike Phillips. Para blocker talaga. Para yeah. middle blockers that sa uh, volleyball. Yeah. Pero once you give Francis Lopez that open lane, there's only two results. Eh. It's either he dumps on you or he gets the foul. And obviously, in this case, he gets the latter. They can live with that at oh. least for it, for this possession. The reaction to Mike Phillips na kita nila. Para okay, job done. Next task. Yeah. <laughs> Split si Francis Lopez. Still a two-possession ball game, 83-77. With exactly three minutes remaining in this ball game. Natapikan si Phillips. Hinapakailaman ni Ududo. Mike Phillips. Oh. Bumping again. Wow. 
هارون الاركون لا وستار ستاند هارون الاركون باي ذا فينيش جوس جوينج him holding his own against Michael Phillips. Thought about the three, passed up that one. Phillips, big up his dribble in a very dangerous spot. Not a big gun. Phillips, having some issues, shot by three. Off the line, big bounce hitting Austria. The move, the big in the layup, rebound Kingsley. And you be in a relatively bad Fantastic spot as of this moment, Randolph. Solid defense, allowing them to be in this position. And possibly a dagger. Oh, no foul. Kingsley Oludo was being held down, <laughs> if anything. But with that kind of sequence, as we are witnessing this smart signature move of the game brought to you by Smart Signature Plants Plus, enjoy on the 5G and more starting at 999 a month. Apply now. The re review yung holding out of bounds play na nangyari with a minute and 49 remaining. But just going back on that rebound sequence, yung wala nang lit dun sa follow up, it's like an indication that these guys are playing exhausted. Yeah, gassed, uh, but really, not, but not, you'd like to see that because uh, you can see that they are laying it all on the floor. Maybe Dikachi, maybe KQ, maybe Michael Phillips or Jonel. As we see here the replay. Uh, last touch. Oh, Mukhang tumama talaga tumama kay Kevin. sa forearm ni Kevin Kiambaw. Mm -hmm. And that hurts if you are uh, LaSalle means an extra possession. Yeah. And you're trailing by eight. Yeah. With 109 seconds remaining in the small game. Pasok si Dumo, pasok si David. LaSalle of the goes on. Yeah. Michael Phillips checks out. Baseline inbound. Jonel Manning catch him. Oh, oh. It's Kevin ako po kay Francis eh. Pero ano, ang gusto mangyari ni, ni JD Kagulangan, tinira si Dumo. Oh! JD Kagulangan! And yes, much! He wants this. He wants this more than anyone. And again, just winning time. Who else but the winner in JD Kagulangan? Solid the one-on-one -on -one play. In Iran, si Andre Dumo, JD Kagulangan scoring his 19th point of the game to lead all scorers and to give UP a 10-point advantage. Get 8 gigabytes of all-access power. To do it all. Plus only TikTok to scroll and share non-stop. Power, work, life, and more with Smart Power All. All-access data now up to 90 days. Load now. Final 97 seconds of this UP LaSalle showdown, and UP is getting the better end of it. Yeah, just a better defensive stance in the fourth quarter. Also, it doesn't have that offense has soured on LaSalle, especially on Kevin Kiambao. Oh. They're just trying, bleeding for every shot, actually, not just even for oh. points. Could be a factor. Na kwento ni Daphne to kanina that this LaSalle team, this lineup, they are parading dito sa 17th ECJ preseason cup. Just got beat a few days ago. Late na sila nakapagsimula. Oh. Yeah. Even though LaSalle has been participating in several leagues, most recently they won a championship, yeah. but dito sa moment na to, 
bakti nga sinabi ko na Trinidad Tigarina back to zero tayo whether it's a championship or an elimination game back to zero lahat and with a minute and 37 to go that might be a case na back to zero pero kasi galing tayo sa ibang resulta turnover pa after nung timeout ni Coach Topex and probably even though they're playing intact the biggest part of that puzzle Kevin Gambao joined them late he did not participate in that championship and we know how big Oh. of a focal point he is when it comes to LaSalle's system. Nasaktan whereas whereas itong, itong UP, they've been waiting for this opportunity. As, Manasaktan pa yeah. si Kevin Giambao. Check out what happened, but he's holding on to the back of his head. Pero kung bibigyan mo lang ng numerical context yung describe natin kanina, 21 turnovers for LaSalle in this ball game. That was the strong pass that was issued to Kampau oh. earlier. And Kevin Kiambao just slapped his head on that hardwood during that fall. He was no not, cushion whatsoever. He was not able to get his equilibrium dun sa pasa na yun. Uh -oh. Also, a good defensive stance again by Harold Alarcon. Who would have thought Harold Alarcon being placed on Kevin Kiambao would do wonders, but that has been the case in the fourth quarter. Oh. Si Harold na yung tumatao kay Kevin eh. And before that play, a few minutes ago, ang nasalubong ni Harold Alarcon, by si Pai Felix. Yeah. Inspired daw kasi eh. May gustong kasama ko sa John. <laughs> Nanonood. Nakakailang three points na ba si Harold Alarcon? Then Parang isa pa lang. Uh, isa pa lang. Yeah, eh. isa pa lang. Pero... Eh, may kadate na eh. So, sabihin niya siguro sa mga team niya. Akin na lang, akin na lang. Tignan muna natin. Mag-uusap-usap muna sila Coach Topics Robinson because they're training by 10 with a minute and 17 remaining in this ball game. Enjoy only 5G data, only calls and texts, and only Netflix mobile on us. All with smart postpaid, powerful SIM-only plans starting at 999. Get it on eSIM online. Only with smart postpaid. Go beyond with Smart, the country's fastest and best mobile network. With unlimited 5G data for 12 months. Unlimited text and calls for both mobile and landline. And unlimited Netflix mobile on us. All with Smart Postpaid's powerful SIM-only plan starting at 999. Get it on eSIM online, anytime, anywhere. Switch now and keep your number. Get the power to go beyond, only with Smart Postpaid. Gagarahe na? Oh, some, especially that dangerous fall earlier that Kevin Kiambao uh, experienced. Looks like he's gonna call it a day. And you mentioned this fantastic first half. Became a marked man for hour to half time. And if you're that kind of a player, if you're that if you carry that caliber, Cuba, that greatness in you, it's natural and you became a target. Diba? No, no and, five minutes there. Oh, in, in that sequence, in this sequence, with a minute and seventeen to go, you be perhaps successfully hitting that target. It was a win for UP, not just in this game, but also in stifling the second half of this game in Tiampo. Oh. But again, you have to load their defensive stance. Even we see the battle between Michael Phillips and Dikachi, but really no. just the guards led by JD Kagulangan, Raylan Torres, but everyone had their nicks in, oh. in taking this game away. And that's really a positive, especially highly motivated yung makabawin oh, kasi yeah. tumalo sa inyong final. So, kumbaga, kahit pa paano, meron kang masarap na feeling na nakabawi tayo sa kanila. Minsan kasi kahit gano'n kagaling, kailangan mo rin pa rin paalala sarili mo na, ah, magaling tayo, kaya natin sila talo. Oh, yeah. And this game was it for you. Lalo na sa mas susunod na makakalaban ng UP, which is NU. Yes. Diba? Looks like if you're NU, you know it's so, And some commotion happening. Dikachi Ododo, Jonel Policarbio having some issues. 
They have to and Francis to Lopez yeah. this time getting involved. From our vantage point, it looks like uh, Dikachi reached part of the neck oh, oh. Jonel. I don't know if their words said, but you got to take a closer look at that. Tignan muna natin. Policarpio, napapaligiran. Nagbitaw din kasi oh. ng... Nagbitaw din ng Sigo si Poli. Oo. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, see that? There's the elbow. And then, probably, Dikachi retaliated on that. May konting acting job from Poli. There was Poli. some... Konting... Yeah. Parang sinasabihan na ang cute na leg mo. <laughs> Not necessarily choking, pero parang, in a way, parang hinila ng konti. Oo. Oh. And that might merit something uh, on the perspective of our referees. Because 37.8 seconds are left. The last thing that you don't want to happen here is, to, is all of this to get out of control. This kind of talking about conclusion. control, yeah. Lalo na, di ba? And daming nagyari kani na mga oh. contact na wala na reaction whatsoever. Yes. Sa mga hindi naman involved. Especially with the score, eh. di ba? Find the score na nito na tayo if anything. Oh, oh. Unless a massive miracle happens, UP is on its way of winning this. Hindi mo rin masisi si Dikachi for reacting that way. Munti kang masiko eh. That's correct. But yeah, I mean, that's why... But if anything, some meaner things happened earlier. That push earlier to Mike Phillips. Ito na yun. So, dalawang foul ang mahatol kay Kingsley Ududo. That's gonna call, that's gonna cost him. He's gonna call it a day. Kay Janel Policarpio naman, he was slapped with a technical foul. So, dagdag lang na isang personal foul sa kanya. That's gonna be his third. Negate lang yung technical foul. So, the foul on... Technical fouls. Dikachi, yeah. Oo, pantay lang. Walang technical free throw. Wala pa naman sa penalty. Yung result. Possession lang. Oo. Ang UP actually, wala rin sa possession. So, play goes on. Another turnover. Matatapos na lang ang laro. Turnover pa rin. Number 24. 24 turnovers. I don't know how you win a game committing 24 turnovers. But that's one of the key points that Coach Topex Robinson and his... Coaches, assistant coaches, Coach Oliver Buni, Coach Caloy Garcia, Coach James Eason. We need to talk about Gian Azario, the, the brain trust of both oh. of these teams. Just unmatched. Do you see here probably Francis Lopez just putting on the finishing touches. Redemption win for the defending Finland champions. In season 86, De La Salle University is just averaging 15 turnovers per game. Very different from what they're doing dito sa laro na to. And that 15 turnovers actually the seven. Yeah. Oh, sa liga. No season 86. But, but yeah. it's irrelevant in this game and that 24 turnovers would be really costly for the defending UAP champions. At ang mananaig ay yung defending Finland Echo Hall pre-season champions. So the question now, Jay, one win down, six more to go in the eliminations. Can they finish the story? That's the question <laughs> that we're going to find out with this UP Fighting Maroons squad as we see the highlights brought to you by Smart Power All 99. Yan ang ating Smart Powered Up Maze. Pero para makakuha ng 8 gigabytes of all access data, only TikTok and only all net calls and text for 7 days, kuha na kayo ng Smart Power All 99. Mag-load na kayo. Just a ton of highlights to start the fourth quarter, a series of slam dunks, a series of defensive sequences, a series of skirmishes, for lack of a better term. But 
this is what you're going to see with this kind of matchup, championship rematch nga Randall Pe. Yan yung ating naging final score. You know, Jay, I feel like this 12-point lead is not indicative of how tightly contested oh, oh, oh. this game is. But the reason why the UP won, no other than a winner in JD Kagulangan. Finishing with 19 points in 15 shots, 8 of 15 from the field. Sama nyo pa ng tatlong assist para dito sa ating Puso Pilipinas Player of the Game na si Joel Giobar Kagulangan. There's our Puso Pilipinas Player of the Game. And you'd expect to see more of that from him. Lalo na ang susunod na kalaban na UP e Enyo sa May 18. Pero ang Lasal, they will see action when we return on the 17th of May, this upcoming Friday. Siyempre, dito pa rin yan sa loob ng Phil Olecol Center. Pero mauna mo lang mga laban. FU contra UE, LPU contra JRU, Perpetual Health contra Letran, and St. Benil. Magpapakita ang action na rin dito. Mga kalaban nila, ang San Sebastian Golden Stacks again. That's gonna be on May 17th. Dito sa Phil Oil Egg Oil Center. And you're gonna see all the action here on Smart Sports and on the Phil Oil Echo Oil Facebook and YouTube pages. For my partner, Randall Kyungson, from Courtside, Daphne Cristobal, my name is Jay De La Cruz. This is the Phil Oil Echo Oil 17th ECJ Pre-Season Cup. Tampo si Babes, di ko daw sa sinu stories. Sa TNT Surf Saya 30, mapapost mo siya sa FB, IG, at kahit TikTok pa. Yee! Sa Saya na yan!